Welcome to notation worksheet number seven, sharps, flats, and naturals. On the piano, all the white keys are natural notes. When you see a diagram of a keyboard, like this one here, um, they always start with the note C. And this is because the C major scale is the only scale that uses all the white keys, or in other words, all the natural notes. Let me play the C major scale for you, and I'll be using all the white keys on the piano, starting with C. Notice that the black keys are arranged in groups of two and three. And this helps you tell which note you are playing. The key, so the key to the left of the two black keys is your C, your starting point. And the key to the left of the three black keys is an F. So if you remember that, then you won't get lost. Also, what you want to know is the lower pitches are on this side of the piano, on the left. And they sound like this. And the higher pitches are on the right, this side. Now, what about the names of the notes on the black keys? You'll notice on the diagram here that each black key has two note names, and we'll explain why in just a second. So, first of all, you need to know that sharps raise the pitch of a note, and flats lower the pitch of a note. So, if we start on C and we want to raise the pitch, we go to the right, and we call this black key C sharp. If we start on D and we want to lower the pitch, we go to the left, and we call this black key D flat instead. So C sharp and D flat are actually the same note. So if we're starting on the C and we're raising all the notes, what we get is the black key is called C sharp, this black key is called D sharp, we, and this uh, black key is called F sharp because of the F. If we raise the G, we get G sharp, we raise the A, we get A sharp. So same thing backwards. If we start on B and we want to lower all the notes, we want to lower the B to B flat, the A to A flat, the G to G flat, the E to E flat, the D to D flat. The E. So that is why each black key has two note names. Okay, so one detail that you need to know is that when you write a note, you want to write the sharp or the flat or the natural in front of the note. So that way, when you're reading the music, you notice the sharp or natural or flat right away before you actually play the note. If you were to say, write a note and put the accidental after it, then you would see the note before the accidental and then you, you would be too late. So that's why we write it before. However, when we say the note, we just say A sharp or A sharp like that. So the sharp comes after the note name, just like we say it. Now, just as with writing notes, you want to be very careful when you draw uh, your sharps, flats, and naturals, and make sure that the ones that are on the line are on the same line as the note that they're accompanying. So you can see here all these uh, sharps and flats have the line going right through the middle of them. And you see the same with the notes on spaces, that the naturals are centered on the space, and so are the sharps, and so are the flats. So it's very important to do that. Now next, let's learn how to draw a keyboard, because that can come in handy when you're trying to do your theory. So what I do is first I draw two black keys, and then I draw, I leave some space and I draw three black keys. Then I drop a short line underneath each of the black keys. I'm going to make an extra black key so I can end my scale. And then I'm going to draw a line in between those, in the spaces there. And then finish off by drawing a box around everything. Okay, so we have this extra black key, which is the same note as this note, because we're repeating the pattern again. And we're putting it there because we want to finish our scale. So we have a C here. 
Then a D, and we just keep going alphabetically. E, make sure F is next to the three black keys. G, A, B, and here we are ending back on the C, which is why we drew the extra black key. Now we're going to name all the black, label all the black keys, and remember what they are called. This one is called C sharp, or D flat. This one's D sharp, or E flat. This one's F sharp, or G flat. G sharp, and A flat. And this one is A sharp, or B flat. And this one's C-sharp and D-flat again, and just, if you wanted to label that one too. Now, something I want to tell you right now, since we're labeling this keyboard, is that because these notes here, the E and F, and the B and the C, they don't have a black key in between them. So they actually have two note names too. So E can also be known as F-flat, and F can also be known as E-sharp. Same thing with the B, it's also known as C-flat. And the C is also known as B sharp. So those are enharmonic notes for those white keys. Now, next we want to take a moment and practice drawing your uh, symbols on accurately. So for instance, if you're drawing a natural on a line, you want to make sure that the line is going right through the middle of it. If you're drawing a natural, a flat, sorry, on a line, again, you want the line to be going right through the middle of it. And if you're drawing sharp on a line, same thing. Okay. And then let's look at the spaces. Again, when you're drawing uh, notes on spaces, you don't want it to accidentally cross the line even just a little because it will be confusing. So try, try to draw them as accurately as you can. There's your flats. And sharps. Okay, so take some time to practice that and finish the uh, questions on this page. And we'll see you at the next worksheet.